comes from beyond time, from beyond the outer limits of your imagination, and he's ready to blow your mind. This video you're watching has been spread across the internet and remains a mystery for several, and might even remain mysterious for those who don't even know its true origins. It's been a part of creepypastas all over. I believe one of them was actually from the Russian sleep experiment until it was ultimately taken over by this image. Yeah. Another popular creepypasta was Gateway of the Mind, which this video was heavily incorporated with. This creepypasta told the tale of Russian scientists, those fucking Russians, I swear, who wanted to experiment on whether or not we could communicate with God. And so they had a volunteer, an elderly man who, with nothing left to lose, wanted to speak to God. And so they removed everything from him, his sight, his hearing, his sense of taste, touch, smell, every single sense of his perception was removed entirely in order for him to get closer to God and perhaps even communicate to him. Eventually, he was able to talk to dead family members, the scientists themselves, spirits, things otherwise nobody could see, and many of the scientists believed that he was crazy. Until, of course, the old man started saying things that the scientists couldn't believe. Things that only they knew. So, it was true. He could speak to the dead. But the dead wouldn't leave him alone. And so he had gone further into madness. Where he started to hurt himself. Throw himself against the wall. Destroy his own body. Destroy himself. Until eventually, he was restrained. And then, as soon as the scientists got him restrained, he opened his eyes looked towards them and said, I have spoken to God, and he has abandoned us. And in that moment, he died. And this footage you see before you is the last remaining footage of said test subject. If it were real, but it's not. Interesting tale nonetheless. At the time, there were even allegations that this is somehow connected to demonic cults and was some sort of satanic ritual and then the materials he was using range from human bones to human blood. All sorts of like nonsense in order to fit people's satanic narratives even though I don't think that's what satanists would do. The truth, however, is that this video was created by Olivier de Sagazan, a French artist and sculptor who became more and more fascinated with performative arts and theater in his art career as he moved forward. This particular video is by far his most popular performance and essentially made his career. But what does it all mean? Well, there's an entire 11 minute interview with Sagazan where he not only explains his art, but his entire art career and philosophy as an artist. Now, I gotta be honest, what he says here is incredibly dense and oddly phrased. I'm just gonna say it's confusing. I, I can't really follow what exactly he's trying to say or what the point of it all is. And even native French speakers are saying his way of speaking is very peculiar and weird, yet profound nonetheless. So yes, it's not a translation error by the person who uploaded this video, but just in the matter of how he speaks, it's, it's interesting that the way he mimics his own art is also the same way he talks, in a way. Well, from what I could gather, his art is supposed to branch his own desires between art and philosophy, as well as his own desire to have his art speak for him and not the other way around. Sagazan does these performances as a way to convey both his frustration of never being able to convey his art's ideas and what they mean, as well as how much what an artist does and how they make their art doesn't matter, only what their art actually means matters. Look, honestly, I could be talking on my ass. You can watch the interview yourself, I could definitely be wrong here, but that's what I could personally gather. In any case, ultimately what you get out of these videos is on your own perception. Lots of people are frightened by these videos. 
Yes, videos, as in plural. Sagazan has made several of these kinds of performances available on his own YouTube channel, some longer than others, and some you might actually find more disturbing. These videos have unnerved many people who've watched them, but honestly, I don't think I've ever seen anyone talk negatively of his craft. I think what he does is incredibly fascinating. Speaking personally, there's a cathartic feeling I get when watching his videos. It brings out this sort of urge inside of me to just fuck everything up, just not care, not even do anything, just let the work speak for itself, just let my body do it for me, you know? Like, just stop working, but also start doing more. Just like wrap my skin around my keyboard just so I can be fused to my words and ideas. I don't know, it sounds weird and borderline pretentious, I'll give you that, but I loved these videos even as a kid. He just does a lot of things with his clay and paint that make me just want to, I don't know. Maybe my halfway burnout with Traumathon is getting the better of me, but I'd so love to just destroy this keyboard and monitor right now. At any rate, I think ultimately it's interesting what his art does for people. Either you're horrified or you're fascinated. Some find it cathartic like me, and others find it funny. In the end, it's up to you how you interpret this as. Are you sucked in by the art itself, or does it not speak to you at all? If this performance could speak, what would it say? For me, what I think it would say is... Oh my god, he just farted. <laughs>